everyone. Thank you so much for your interest in Wati and your interest of becoming one of our partners. So the very first step that you will need to sign up as our ISV and partner is to fill in this form. So uh, if you are asking about the partnership, our team shall be like sending you this form already in order to understand more about your company. So what you will need to do here is like um, giving us all the information about your company and then submitting also a deck and your reference client about your company. So make sure that you submit everything in detail for us to evaluate this partnership. And for the next step um, in this, after your submission, you expect to wait around two to four weeks to get the approval from us and Facebook in order to become our ISV and partner of WhatsApp. So the next thing uh, you will need to understand is that we are offering two different products. So one is the Wati CRM, another one is the Wati WhatsApp API Gateway. What are the differences of these two types of product? So for the Wati CRM, you will have a user interface to use uh, the WhatsApp API. So Wati is the platform we built on top of the WhatsApp official API and you will have the interface for your client or on yourself. So the operator will be logging into a platform called Wati to use the function of WhatsApp API. Whereas for WhatsApp API Gateway, for this one, we will only sign up the direct API of WhatsApp for you. So you can use this one to build your own chatbot, to integrate with your own CRM to offer it to your client. So they will be logging in either from your CRM or their own interface without an interface of Wati. So these are the major difference of um, CRM and WhatsApp API gateway. So essentially one, for the WhatsApp API, we will have the UI included and you do not need to do any coding or programming. And also, uh, like you know, the, we have Wati API inside as well. So it will be for some easy integration or automation, for example, tracking template message to send out. So for the WhatsApp API gateway, that will be for more developer use or for more technical teams to use. So if you already have your own technical team and your own CRM platform as an interface, then maybe you will opt for the API gateway. It is completely up to you to choose between these two products. So uh, if it's clear about what we offer as a product, then the next step will be how you can apply to um, and sign up for the product. So right here, you see the sign up page and how you can get to this page is that first of all, you go to the Wati platform, click pricing, and then you will of course choose which plan you're opting for. So you can choose either the Wati gateway or the CRM. And then you will choose either monthly or annual plan. And then once you click choose this plan, it will redirect you to the payment page. So what you have to do here is, first of all, confirm which plan you're choosing, how many agents you will need if you're choosing Wati CRM. If everything is okay, then you will proceed, agree to all the terms and conditions and proceed to the next step. And right here, you're going to input all your detail, your detail as a partner. So this one, the basic information you're putting in here is, um, your, uh, is the person that will be in charge to help the customer in onboarding. So basically, every email will be sent to this email you're providing here. For example, if you have like, um, like the number is in use or there's any um, failure in the sign up or if there's any supporting document needed or even the sign off email of Wati will be sent to this email that you provide. So make sure in this basic information page, you're putting in um, like the contact person that we can reach out to to arrange the onboarding process. So once the details sign up here, then we will go to the next step, which is the payment process. So it will redirect you to Stripe and you can prepare your credit card for payment and all the charges. So if you're um, going for the monthly plan, we will have a monthly subscription charge directly and automatically charge from your card. 
And also, if you have used any template message, we will charge it from here as well. So uh, make sure you input the correct details so we can build you. And if there is any overdue payment, we will stop your YT account. Make sure if you input the data here, that will be accurate for us to charge you um, like uh, continuously on a monthly basis. So once this page is confirmed, it, and after your payment, then you will go to the embedded signup process. So I will take a pause here because if you are helping your client to sign up, then you will not go to this page to do anything because your client need to sign with their Facebook, with their account. So once you help them to complete the payment, then you will receive a link like this with the subscription ID we sign off to you, sending to your email. And what you will need to do is giving this link to your client in order to bring them to this page, step four right here for WABA onboarding, WhatsApp business account onboarding. So they will sign in to their own Facebook business manager to complete the business verification process to make sure that you understand right here from step one, two, three, that will be your detail. You will choose the plan. You will leave your detail as a company and complete the payment. So later on, you will charge your client or whatever method you, you would like to use to charge your client that will be handled by your side. But if you are our partner, then you will complete the payment from you. And uh, you will also get in touch with us um, to handle the onboarding process. But step four, make sure you're signing off, sending this link that we sign off to you in the email to the client. So when, uh, when they come to this page as a client, what they will need to do here is to log in with Facebook. So now I'm logging as Crystal, your client will log in um, as their own account and then um, sign in to their page, their Facebook business manager in order to verify their company, okay? So make sure you give this link to them and for this video, it will be on YouTube. But to show you how it works, your client will be choosing the page, confirming the business name of their account. So make sure you tell them to input all the correct detail, which is based on their company name uh, on the business document. So make sure if you're like, you no, know, let's say um, if you're Dior, you're not putting the name of Chanel here because the two business names doesn't match. And that will not work for Facebook. And for the display name here, you see an option about um, whether it was the same as a legal document. So please suggest them to follow their business document. If they're ABC company, then put ABC company here. Do not have any um, other brand name here unless um, their brand name is different from their business name. Then they will have um, extra approval process that will be needed or extra document that may be needed. So just follow the process, choose the category, and later on, this will be where they verify their number. So make sure this number is not on uh, WhatsApp before, will be a clean number. Then you put the country code and the number so they can choose a voice call or a text message uh, as an SMS format. After they trigger the voice call SMS, they will receive a six digit code. And just input here and take verified. And after they complete this process um, without the business verification yet, they will get a sandbox for them. So they can use um, the basic function of WhatsApp API and Wati, sending um, like a limited amount of message. And until they complete the business verification process, they will be able to use the full feature of Wati. So after this part, you will get, guide them to go to the business verification process. So first of all, you will need to search for this web page business.facebook.com sometimes it will redirect you to this facebook business suite so please do not do it here it's not the right place to do it when you scroll down let me move away this one yeah you will see setting click on setting so right here you will see the business setting so business setting is where you can verify your account in business setting when you click it you will go to another page where you will see different information here. So first of all, if you would like to have your client to do the business verification, make sure your client have the admin access of this 
um, Facebook business setting, Facebook business manager page, and then you will guide them to go to the security center right here. So you click security center and you will see the business verification page right here. So you see like, you know, if you do not have the correct information, you will receive like a reminder, a message from Facebook. But how you can do it, we'll also have a video on YouTube to guide you the whole process. So once you log in the business manager, you will find the security center. And after you click in business verification, there are four steps that they need to complete to verify their business, their entity and brand name. So just follow here, input all the correct information. Again, if you're ABC company, make sure you put ABC company right here. And the next step, submit the legal business document from your local government. So if I'm in Hong Kong, I'll submit the business registry, or if you're in other places, then you will submit the business certificate or business license issued by your government. And make sure you select the correct document language as well. Okay, so once you drag and drop, upload the PDF here, then to the next step, you must submit your, your address proof. Okay, so let's um, select the language here first. And then the next step, it will also ask you to upload another document of address proof. Then make sure you see you put the address like this before here, and you will be required to submit the document with the same address and the same company name. So just drag and drop here and click next again. So after this one, make sure you have your website or business email prepared, which is from your client side. Uh, make sure they have all this document ready when they go to this tab. And I suggest you to keep them informed at first and make sure they prepare all the document before they kickstart or sign, sign up with Wadi. If not, um, it will take a lot longer time back and forth. So put your email here and then it will send you another verification code as well. And after that, you input your code here and then the process will be completed. Roughly for this process, if you have all the correct document, it will take around um, five business days for Facebook to verify the business, uh, the brand name. So make sure on the website, on the business document and also the address proof, you have the exact same company name in order to get the verification from, from Facebook side. And after that, after the verification, and uh, you'll be able to have your full accessibility of your WhatsApp API and Wati account. So at last, I would like to introduce you different resources about Wati. First of all, as I have shown you a lot of different videos, you will see our YouTube channel with different kind of resources. So for example, um, about how you find your business, uh, uh, business manager ID and how you use the platform, the Wati platform walkthrough, and also um, different like, you know, common, FAQs or like um, the integration tutorial. So all this video you can find it in YouTube. And secondly, you will have the Wati Help Center. So we have a lot of help article here to explain about the integration, pricing and automation, how you do different things about Wati and WhatsApp API. And if you are looking for the documentation about the API, so you will go to either, if you're using API Gateway, you will go to the Facebook documentation to use the direct API. And if you're using the Wati API, you will also find our API documentation right here. So here you can use um, our reference for the Wati API documentation and our team is really providing all the comprehensive material here. So um, it also offers different languages as well. As you can see, Python, PHP. So you will have all the support document ready. If you need any help, just make sure you can reach out to us. You can send us a WhatsApp message 
and you scroll down here, you can find our email hello at wati.io. So if you have any questions, feel free to approach us. But I hope this video will be comprehensive enough to guide you how you get on board as a partner of us and how you onboard your own client as well with all this clear process. Thank you so much for your patience to finish this video. I hope you have a smooth process on onboarding your client on Wati or WhatsApp API. Thank you.